And that judge ordered all three suspects to be held without bond following bond appearances here this afternoon. We also learned from prosecutors that these suspects allegedly planned and coordinated this crime over text messages. 18-year-old Ramon Richardson, 18-year-old Cameron Anderson, and a 17-year-old boy now facing murder charges in the shooting death of Duval High School student Jada Madrano Moore last September. A 17-year-old Flowers High School student was previously charged. Detectives believe he was the gunman. Jada's dad, Glendon Reed, reacted to the new arrests. I was shocked to, to hear that there was another uh, three more individuals because um, I, I thought it was just only one. According to charging documents, all four suspects were involved in the planning and contributed to the physical fight that led to the shooting just off Duval's campus. Detectives have said there was a dispute between two groups, and now they're saying that fight was planned. Witnesses told investigators when Jada tried to intervene in the dispute to protect her brother, she was shot. We don't believe that Jada was the intended target that day. Uh, unfortunately, she became uh, the victim. Uh, we do believe, though, that there was an intent uh, to fight. We believe that there was an intent to carry weapons and use those weapons. In court, prosecutors described the newly charged 17-year-old, also a Duval student, as a ringleader. They said he sent messages to a group chat about shooting people in the fight. The documents say Cameron Anderson provided the handgun and ammunition to the 17-year-old Flower student believed to have pulled the trigger. In court, prosecutors said Anderson, a senior at Flowers, supplied and fixed guns. The prosecutors showed the judge a photo that he says shows Anderson holding a gun during a separate fight after that fatal shooting. Uh, we found group chats in which they, these individuals uh, helped plan and helped to um, coordinate the um, murder that occurred on September 11th, uh, 2023. Now, family members of two of these teenagers came to court today to support their sons, asking the judge release them because they are just months away from high school graduation.